Hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. No matter where you're calling from, it's great to see you in today's session. Um, it's awesome to see some familiar names, as always, coming into today's session, and, and actually more new names than usual for these. We have a real good following of, of similar people coming in to these sessions, which I always love to see these friendly names. But if you're new here, you're not alone. Welcome. It's great to see you and it's great to meet you. For those of you who I've not had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Mike and I am one of the co-founders here at waybook.com. This is actually one of my favourite parts of the week, favourite parts of the month, because it's a chance for me to be able to share with you some of the things that we've been working on over here in Waybook HQ and also um, really giving you some tips in terms of how you can best utilize the latest features within Waybook to create your single source of truth within your team. So for those of you who aren't familiar with how this session goes, um, we like to keep it as interactive as possible. So please do feel free to get in touch, um, put, put any thoughts, questions, heckles, whatever you want throughout today's session. And you can do that in a multitude of ways. Firstly, we have the, uh, the Q&A panel, so you can ask any questions you've got uh, within Q&A. Um, I will keep my eyes on that. And also the fantastic Sophia here from uh, Waybook side will also be answering any questions as we continue to go. And we also have the chat. If you ever want to uh, just share anything, feel free to, to post in the chat. You've all got the ability to do that. Um, so perhaps to kick us off, feel free to say who you are, where you're from, where in the, where in the world you're calling in. So uh, I'm in London here and I've actually half closed this curtain because believe it or not, it's sunny over here in London, which we're all very excited about. Um, and I know many of you are from all around the world as well, which is super, super exciting. And then the final thing um, that we uh, that you can get involved with us today is also using our polls. So I've just launched a poll there to get a brief sense of who's in the room, what sort of business you're in, what you're doing within the business, and 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 actually why you're why you're tuning into Waybook. Um, so we can direct this a little bit more uh, to get more value for you. Okay, so it looks like I will uh, get going with today's session as there's more of us still still coming in, but everybody else is here on time. So let's kick off with the product update waiver, uh, the, the waiver product update, the feature releases for May 2024. Now, you know why we're here. We're here to help you get your single source of truth for your business so you can document, systemize, and structure all of your knowledge in the most effective ways and make sure that that is disseminated out to your teams. So you'll tend to notice that all of the updates that are coming out every week and every month is really focused on a multiple different things, but ultimately making it easier for you to create and structure your knowledge and for your teams to understand, to interact, and to learn from that content as well. So today and this month is no exception. Um, and here is what we've got in store for you. Um, we are going to share with you the up optimized Waybook interface. So if you've been in Waybook today, you've probably already noticed that there's been a few changes that have released on your account in the last 24 hours. And I'm just going to talk through them and, and uh, why they're there. Um, we also have a very exciting release, which will also have been in your account from yesterday. And that is Waybook Notes. We're really excited about Waybook Notes. We're really um, uh, looking forward to, to how this can optimize your, your content and your knowledge um, development from ideas into, into shareable knowledge. We've also got an improved document collaboration. Um, so we've seen lots of people collaborating with colleagues on documents, and there's been some upgrades in terms of how that works on your accounts. And also we've got some uh, extensions to the document manager view um, or, or document manage view uh, and, and quickly looking at some of the, the ways that you can filter that more effectively. And then also we've done various optimizations on the import and migration manager. So if you've got content that lives in different places, then we've made that much easier for you to get that in. There is a longer list, believe it or not. So on the on the notes of this video, you'll also see a longer list of things that have gone out in May um, as usual. But these are the things that I'm really keen to kick off with uh, and explore with you today. 
Um, so just looking at the answers that you've done, uh, the vast majority of us are in operations on today's call. It's usually founder owner, but um, most of us are in operations. And we're here to onboard team members, train new team members and create in-house SOPs. And almost everyone on the call is within this uh, kind of 20 to, to 100 um, team size as well. So you're in the right place, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll just end that poll. Thank you for sharing. So let's now jump into the Waybook interface optimization. Now, um, really what we've done here is we've uh, taken, a, uh, taken a harder, longer, harder look at the Waybook uh, interface and also spoke to many of you who are using Waybook on the daily and your teams to just try and see how we can make it a lot more efficient um, or, or I guess a little bit more efficient in terms of you getting to the elements of Waybook that you need when you need it. So the reason why we started to look at this um, was because actually we want to always increase that ease of navigating your waybook. One thing that we're very passionate about is making sure that the friction between your team and your team's knowledge is zero. We want to remove that friction. So basically, it's always easier for your team to ask Waybook a question and to, to get that information from the source than it is to ask various different people across the business. Um, and part of that is actually making sure that we're optimizing that experience for your readers as well as making sure that you as editors have exactly um, the right level of access and control as well. So what we've actually done is you'll see here that we have almost switched our menus. So before we've always had this left-hand navigation menu, and then you've had various different editing abilities up in this top um, navigation here. Um, and what we've basically done is we've switched that focus, which I'll show you very, uh, very soon. So make sure that all of your navigation as an editor is in one place. And then all of the um, way of exploring content as a reader is in one place as well. This essentially means that you have a much more consistent view as a reader um, and as an editor, but you can always see as an editor what your readers will see as you're toggling in and out as well. We've also um, grouped our kind of document navigation together and the other change, which isn't a massive functional difference, but uh, Waybook Flows is now called Learning Paths. It's a semantic change. We don't usually spend too much effort on, on naming conventions and changing things, but we thought that this was really important to really reiterate the, the specific value and use case of Waybook Learning Paths. And that is really to make sure that you can create a specific and customized learning pathway through your existing documents. Um, and we'll see where that lives as well. So how you access that, you have access, just literally go into your Waybook and you will see the new interface and that's available in all accounts. So let me just actually jump into the Waybook and you'll get a quick sense of exactly what I'm looking at. But I won't spend too much time here because I know you will have access in your own accounts as well. So you'll notice here that I am in reader mode. But as I'm in an account that has edit access, you will notice that I have the edit toggle. And also you'll notice that I have members reporting and settings. Now for your readers, the interface is now much clearer. They obviously won't have the members reporting and settings access on the top. So it's just your branded bar with the search where we see a lot of people hitting all of the time and, and that's what they go to. And then they'll be able to actually access their knowledge in the three different ways that people most access their knowledge. Using the documents tab, and this is the traditional um, document taxonomy that we, we, we know is important and, and we always see. If you're in paths, so in the learning paths, you'll be able to jump into those individual paths. But because, of course, you've created that learning path as a custom way through for that user, you actually don't need them to see that, that um, broader taxonomy as well. So that is now in place in that side view. And then ask is the other way that we see most people accessing, which will now mean that you have a broader uh, window for, for actually seeing your documents, seeing your knowledge, seeing your chat, seeing your, your flows. Um, and and that's, that's kind of all of that from your reader experience. Now, because I do have edit access, obviously, I do have the members reporting and settings tab. So this menu here is very much focused on me as an admin uh, or an editor across the Waybook. So any kind of uh, Waybook type settings that I want to do on there. But you'll also see that I've got this edit toggle. And if I toggle on the edit, uh, very similar to how, it ha to how it worked before, you'll notice now all of the functions that we might want to do as an uh, editor are much easier for us to access here. 
whether that be adding new documents, accessing our templates, going into the AI creator, uh, importing documents, um, or, or, or our document manager view. And I won't click on this second one because this is what I'm about to share with you very, very soon. So it might not feel like a change. We kind of hope it won't feel like a massive change on your side, but we're really excited to see how you look, feel, uh, and, and, and kind of explore within that. And as always, your feedback is much appreciated and very, very welcome. So now we've explored the interface, uh, we can share why we wanted to do that slight change to the interface. And that's because we're excited to introduce Waybook Notes. So the reason why we started to look at the concept of having notes within Waybook instead of uh, just having documents is we know that all great knowledge within our businesses really begins with that kind of rough idea. It might be an insight, it might be data, it might be a conversation, it might be a note. But ultimately, we, we, we've seen that people have wanted to put that knowledge within the Waybook but it almost isn't ready to become a document. It's almost a, a, a couple of thoughts here and there, just something that's private to me as I'm developing and percolating an idea that I then might want to centralize and, and share that with the rest of the team. So Waybook Notes is also then designed to enable that, that faster and rougher thinking that is just part of that natural development of how we generate knowledge as individuals and also as businesses. So what actually is a Waybook Note? It is essentially enabling that. It's as simple as it sounds. It's a personal and private note that lives inside of your Waybook. So your Waybook notes will never be shared with anybody else. They're only accessible by you. You can have your management, your tags, your structures. You can come to them. You can edit them. And it's only if you wanted to then share that knowledge, you then convert it into a document. So in the testing of this, we've seen people use notes for a whole range of uh, knowledge and information, transcripts of meetings, plans for things, ideas for uh, content just as it's coming up, stuff that may ultimately turn into, uh, into knowledge that you'll turn into a document or actually just a great source of information, a store of information that makes sense for you to have that rough information as a, an, an individual uh, alongside the organization's knowledge as well. So what you're able to do with that note is manage and tag and edit, improve and refine that thinking. But where this becomes really powerful is once you're ready to convert that knowledge into or, or that thinking into knowledge to share with your team, you're then able to convert those documents or those notes into a document. And that's really where a lot of the magic comes from a Waybook note. So how do you access this? It's already available in all of your accounts. So this is only available to people who have edit access and above. Um, so if you get access to the edit panel, meaning that you can edit any one of your documents, then you have access to notes. Um, and, and then obviously admins and everybody else who manages your content will also have access as part of that. So let me just jump into this account to give you a quick view on what that actually is. So if I toggle over into edit here, I'm able to then go down to notes, which is the last option on our menu. Now you'll notice that a note um, is a single page note and straight away I can just, uh, I can just uh, let's say webinar improvement. Um, I can just start writing. As I'm writing that, it will auto title it and I can just start to add some thoughts here. So um, uh, let's say speed up introduction or whatever note I'm thinking about perhaps you can give me some notes on my performance here for me to put into that Waybook note. So you'll notice here that I've actually also been creating some other content. So some um, notes on video recording, notes on running of meetings, a few different ideas as it's going. So I can come back to here. Um, and of course, as I'm creating this content, let's say webinar improvement, I might want to add a tag to that note. So that tag, let's say, is uh, webinars and I'll create a new tag there. But perhaps I also want to tag that in with my content ideas as well. So now I'm able to look at all of the uh, look at all of the tags on that document and I can filter all of my notes by that particular tag. So say for example, I want to look at how I'm uh, trying to improve team communication. I'll toggle on that and we can see here that there's actually a couple of notes that is tagged on that on that team. Um, and let's say for example, I'm also going to add another uh, another note into that. So let me look at all of the things that are based on team communication. And here we've got some essentials that we've found as useful in agendas. We've looked at how we kind of make icebreakers in our team and, and, and how we do good meetings. So now I've developed these thoughts from a rough perspective. 
In a lot of scenarios, you would still want to do this in a document. If you're looking to collaborate, if you're looking to share, if you're looking to actually develop that and communicate on that and version control, it should still be a document. But because this has started out as a rough idea and something just I don't really want to share with anyone else, I've put it as a note. But now I'm ready to share that information and I'm ready to, to, to kind of get other people to communicate on that. So I can actually click this button here or, of course, this button here. And I'm then able to convert my note into a document, either one, two, three or multiple documents. And what I'm able to do is kind of add uh, a title, let's say internal communication. And if I decide where I want to put that, so what subjects I want that to go in, let's say office and admin, I can then convert that document or convert that note into a document. And you'll see there I've now pushed that note or the series of notes into one document, which now means dependent on the permissions of that subject, or if I choose to add, uh, you know, give other people access to that, I can now start to collaborate on that. I can start to edit on that. And ultimately I can publish that document uh, and we can push that and share that as knowledge moving forward. Now, the other interesting thing that you can do within Waybook, uh, Waybook Notes is sometimes that knowledge isn't quite ready to turn into a document, but you can actually harness the power of Waybook AI that ultimately enables you to then intelligently turn your notes into something that's more ready to be shared as a document. So let's say, for example, uh, a couple of rough notes here, uh, speaking with a video recorder um, and some bits that, that we can do to inter um, improve our internal note, uh, internal content. I'm actually going to just select that one, but I'm gonna smart convert that. And let's say recording videos, um, best practice. And again, I'll just put it in that same, uh, that same document. Now what Waybook AI will do now is it will actually understand that note We've only given it one, but if you select multiple, it will understand multiple notes. It will structure that. And you'll see here is actually then create that into a logical organized format. That means that it will be more ready for you to then share and collaborate with the rest of your team. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Waybook Notes. We're very excited about it. Um, again, private personal notes to you that can be used for any format and acts as that rough area for you to then jot things on the move, make sure that you've got an understanding of stuff that then can ultimately move into your knowledge uh, that you then share with the team. If you've got any thoughts, any questions, please do let me know. Um, and we're excited for you to play with that and, and let us know how you think. Now, let's just move on to a couple of the last um, uh, improvements that have gone out in, in May 24. Uh, we've got the improved document collaboration. So we know that many of you are, are collaborating on documents and slowly moving that knowledge forward as you do that. Now, one thing we noticed is when people are collaborating on that document, um, you might actually both be trying to edit that document at the same time. Um, and on the previous version of that document collaboration, um, it would block out that step to make sure that you didn't have any clashing and to make sure that I don't make a change and then Sophia makes a change in it and, it and it doesn't work together. So we identified this requirement for everybody to be able to see all of the steps, even if they weren't able to edit it because somebody else was managing it. And that's exactly the change that has happened within the Waybook. So now you're always able to view the document step in the edit mode, so the latest version of that step, even when it's actively being edited by your colleagues. And of course, as you can see here, you're always able to take control of that step. Um, and as a part of that, we have much more enhanced saving and, and found over procedure when you're sharing the edit of that document between people. So that is available in all of your accounts. You may have already experienced it. You may never experience it if you're the only person managing those documents or those individual steps, but it's nice to know that all of that is in there and you can collaborate without any, uh, any limitation on that as well. Now, let's look at our penultimate share today. We've got the quick filters on the document manager. So the document manager is this power uh, this power mode. Um, I, it actually used to be called document explorer. It's a power mode for us being able to look at all of the knowledge within our within our business, where it lives, what status it's at, what versions it's on, who who owns it, who verifies it, when when it was last viewed, things like that. So it's almost this power view looking at all of our documents um, and being able to manage that from a ten thousand foot view. Now. This is really important because actually many of you will use this in various different ways. This might be something that 
identifying the knowledge that you need to approve or perhaps the drafts that you need to complete or the documents that actually are coming back up for review. Um, but we did notice that even though you can filter all of that, um, sometimes it took a while for you to actually keep on rebuilding these filters to see what documents you need to look at. So the big change that's happened here is the ability to have quick filters on the document manager view. Um, and I will dive in and show you that. But essentially, a quick view filter is the most common views that we've seen people use within their document manage. Um, and it's accessible in the document manager, um, available on all of those accounts, of course, if you've got the edit access on there as well. So let me just go into the waybook um, to, to show you what that is. Again, I'll have to be in the edit pane here. Um, I'll go down to the manage view and that manage will then just give me a view of all of the knowledge. So this is every single document in the account. You see here, I've got 110 documents. And as before, you're able to toggle on those fields so we can see what is the document type, the subjects it's in, the status, basically a whole list of things. And you can customize what view you do and don't see within that. Now you can actually look through this content and filter this view in a whole range of different ways. And this is exactly what you could do before. So we can actually look at everything within the FAQ subject and kind of filter down to that. The real change here is looking up in this quick filters and the quick filters are the things that are essentially new documents in your account. So the things that have been recently created, um, we can look at the documents that you own. So anything that you are actively responsible for as a, as a, as a knowledge owner. Um, you can also look at things that you are required to verify. So if you're the verifier and the document is unverified. So this is, of course, when something is not owned, but you're responsible, you're accountable for that knowledge and that information. Um, and then also you can look at the things, uh, the documents that require review by you or other people. So there's a few quick filters here. What we're really excited to do is to actually continue to build out the utilization of this. So if you're looking at this and there's a few things that you commonly come to uh, and would like to create as a quick filter, as always, please do let us know and we'll be happy to make sure that um, there's less clicks and more power behind your usage of Waybook and the document manager. And then the final thing that I'd just share with you today is our improved import of documents. Now, the improved import of documents means that actually instead of previously creating a document and then going through and finding that original source and doing it, uh, uh, importing that, you can essentially now go directly to the file that you're looking to import and then choose where that goes through. So we understand that improving that ease of creating and collating that knowledge within your waybook is of utmost importance. And what you're now able to do is access firstly um, the Word doc import from wherever from wherever you are, but also it's now much easier to import your waybook shots um, uh, from from wherever you are within the interface as well. So let me just show you what that actually looks like, and I will just go back into this uh, into this demo account, which you probably have grown to, to love because I'm jumping in and out of it all the time. Uh, so let me just jump into this account here. Again, um, you can go into the uh, edit pane and then we go straight to import. So from wherever we are, whatever document we're in, we're then able to import a Word doc and just choose what subject that goes in. Um, we can obviously embed tangos, you can use our migration team, but also now you can access Waybook shots directly from the import panel as well. For those of you who don't know what Waybook Shots is, Waybook Shots is Waybook's SOP creator. Um, and essentially here, we're able to then create that um, create that shot uh, and import that directly within the Waybook. Um, if you haven't already created Waybook Shots, then I would highly recommend that you go to the Chrome store uh, and download Shots by Waybook. And this is actually where you're then able to, from any page, wherever you are, say I just want to show you how to create a new profile picture, um, you literally start recording, then you click around, um, you just do the work that you're trying to uh, document, share or delegate. And you'll see here it's actually um, screenshotting, highlighting and titling all of the steps that I'm taking that you can then import into any of your documents or, of course, create new ones as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is your 
final uh, kind of update for the session. Um, we also have so much more that's live on your accounts and a huge amount more that's coming out in the coming weeks and months as well. Um, some of the things that we are focusing on at the moment is improved team permissions. This has been one that's been in the works for a long time. Um, essentially what we are making a change here, and this is coming very, very soon, is instead of deciding whether a document is assigned or reference, so whether or not people have to complete it, you're now, you will soon be able to actually decide whether or not a group needs to complete that document or not. So for example, a marketing um, person might have access to the sales documents, but they act as reference documents for them all. A really exciting um, uh, change that will make the, the permissions much easier. Um, and then the other thing that we're also optimizing as well, as we see more and more people use this document manager, um, we're going to be introducing the ability to edit and bulk edit documents within that document manager. So this might be changing the ownership of do multiple documents at a time or changing you know, verification or, or, or kind of subjects um, in, in bulk for you as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's session. I'd like to thank you all so much once again for joining us. Uh, it's really exciting to see uh, many of you who continue to come back on today uh, on our product update sessions. Um, if you've got any thoughts or questions, now is the time. I'm looking at the chat, I'm looking at the Q&A, so please feel free to ask any thoughts or questions. Uh, and I will hang around for, uh, for a minute or two after the session if anybody does have any other burning questions. But without with, with the absence of, of, of these questions coming in, thank you all once again. Um, I hope you have an amazing day and please do let us know if we can ever support any more in what we're doing to help you get your business on the same page so we can all enjoy some smooth scaling. Thank you all so much and I look forward to seeing you at our next session. Bye-bye.